What is going on, everyone? This is Nier again. Today for you, an episode of uh, Monday is talking about Bakara. Yuck, Bakara. Using the silent, using the golden MG36 light machine gun. And when people see, you know, silent light machine gun gameplay, they're just like, yeah, silent light machine gun. Is this guy even trying? Believe it or not, the silent light machine guns in Marvel 3 are actually really good. Uh, when I'm using the MG36 personally, that's my preferred. That's my preferred setup. I use kick and a silencer on the MG36. That's just, I, that's the way I like to run the light machine gun. It's actually really good. The iron sights are pretty open. They they kind of remind me of the scars just a little bit. I mean, they're a little bit more bulkier. The uh, kind of cuts off some of your peripherals a bit, but it's still they're still pretty good iron sights. Uh, the gun doesn't kick a whole lot. It reloads pretty fast. The MG36 is a good gun, ladies and gentlemen. I don't understand why more people don't, you know, test the wires with it. I think the reason uh, people don't test the wires with light machine guns in general in Call of Duty, in particular in Modern 3, is because they don't like having to change their playstyle. Uh, I almost made a whole video talking about it, but you know, obviously there's a certain playstyle when you're using an assault rifle, a certain playstyle when you're using a submachine gun. Uh, you have to play a little bit different when you're using a light machine gun. You have to play a little bit different when you're using a shotgun. You have to play different when you're using a sniper. Uh, every different weapon tier in the game causes or forces you to play a little bit differently. And look at the power of Sit Rep Pro. Just turn around, boom, 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 spraying people out in all different directions. But yeah, so that is just. I don't know, man. More people need to try the light machine guns. More people need to try more guns in general. Because believe it or not, guys, there are other guns in the game. There's not just ACRs or not just MP7s. You can do something different. Believe me. Believe me. I've done it, I've done it myself. I've seen it firsthand. There are other guns. I, 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 I couldn't believe it either. But. <laughs> All right, so we're playing on Makara. This is SB Markson's mod, by the way. I don't know if I said that earlier already, but it's a pretty quick one. He came to me saying he had this, and I was like, wow, quick Moabs. I like that. I like quick Moabs. Uh, they're fast-paced. They're entertaining. I hate those Moabs that, like, you know, uh, go on for, like, 10 minutes and, you know, uh, you know, two minutes in between each kill or something like that, you know. I like mobs like this. Very entertaining stuff. So, uh, for when you're playing on Makara, first and foremost, I would, I would give you guys the... Uh, the tip to you know just don't go for Moabs on Bakara because this map is very inconsistent with its spawns and uh, just the way the map plays and it's ugly and it's just a horrible map in general in my opinion. But um, if you if I were if I were to go ahead and give any tips towards the map, I would say if you're playing domination, give them the C flag. Let them be up by the C flag because they will spawn over in the corner where he was just shooting. They'll spawn uh, down here over there by the C flag and they'll also spawn down here in this area right here by B. Uh, like I said, this map is very inconsistent in terms of its spawns. If they have this, if they have this uh, C flag on this map, they'll spawn right by B. If they have the A flag on this map, they'll spawn right by B. Or sometimes they'll spawn up in the building next to C. It's a very, you know, just it's a goofy map in terms of the spawn system. It, it's very hard to predict. Very hard to have any idea what's going on. Uh, the hot spot of the map would be this area that Marksman's in right now, and he actually picks up the Moab in the hot spot. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Moab Monday. We're gonna be picking up one more kill. We're gonna be seeing where is it? There it is. We're gonna get the same turret right there. It's a pretty quick one. Pretty nice overall gameplay, but something funny is gonna be happening pretty shortly. And you guys gonna be checking that out. And I think you guys all enjoyed that. And uh, there's a multi kill with Moab. But uh, like every episode of Mob Monday and Mob Friday, typically I will go ahead and fast forward the end of the gameplay, which we're going to do that right now. If you look at the score, 172. How's this the end of the gameplay? Well, Mob for 3, go Infinity Ward, he troll us yet again. SB Marksman, SB Deadly, any person besides myself that I feature on Mob Monday or Mob Friday don't have capture cards, so I have to record their gameplays for them out of theater mode. Theater mode decided that's all the further they were going to record that game, <laughs> and they didn't uh, let us see the final score because they didn't let the game end. So, go theater mode. But here's another video I posted up today, guys. Here's another video. This is actually a crazy video I got last night playing with subscribers, right? We go in there, we play some kill confirm. First match we play of kill confirm, we go buck wild and we win the game 65 to 4. The enemy team confirmed 4 tags the entire game if that sounds interesting to you watching us completely demolish the enemy team click the video right there on your screen you can also click the little text right above it click subscribe if you already haven't and uh, there's links in, and there's a link in the description where you can follow me on twitter in case you like you would like to play with me sometime or do open lobbies things like that uh, remember to rate the video and sincerely thank you guys for everything I hope you guys all have a wonderful day